Nature is the great teacher. The phenomena of nature, both physical and spiritual, are the expressions of infinite intelligence. The scripture reference for today's metaphysical lesson is John chapter 1, verse 1, and it reads, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And so it is written. Now I have heard this scripture many times in my life, but never really understood its meaning. What is the Word? Some think that the Bible is the Word of God. However, I'm here to tell you that God did not write the Bible. Jesus did not write the Bible. The Bible began as storytelling until someone decided that these stories should be written down and preserved for future generations. The Bible was written, edited, and published after Jesus' crucifixion by men in powerful positions. Several of the Gospels were edited out for reasons unknown. This was the cause for the great Crusades, where many lost their lives needlessly because they did not conform. The Bible has been used, abused, and misunderstood. It is filled with parables and allegories. Allegories and parables are not literal. An allegory is a story with a hidden message or meaning which is revealed in the substance of the story. So much has been lost in translation and in interpretation. So let's look at this scripture spiritually, metaphysically. To create a word, we must activate the consciousness of thought and use the breath of life to create the sound and vibration. This consciousness is of the source of life. God is the source of the word. You became the Word in the book of life. The Word is you, spoken into existence. It is you that will carry forward the breath and consciousness as the universe continues to expand. When we incarnate on this plane of existence, I like to call it Earth School, we wade through the river of forgetfulness. The process of self-discovery starts all over again. But our life's experiences and teachings are pointing the way to a deeper consciousness. Slowly we become aware of our own divinity. Eventually we all come to know that we are the seeds of infinite intelligence. We will never stop learning. We will never stop growing. And it does not yet appear what we shall become. I have heard people say that they know God. Well, let me tell you. You can't know God. You can only realize God. We cannot, in our finite and developing minds, comprehend the totality and power of the architect of our grand universe. With its seemingly endless galaxies, many of them are light years away. We are the offspring of this intelligence. In an embryonic state of unfoldment, on the long path to self-realization, we have yet to discover our inherent abilities as co-creators endowed with the ability to manifest through mind activation. This intelligence is at work even in the darkest of places. Seeds germinate in the darkness of the ground. Life is conceived and nurtured in the darkness of a mother's womb. Ideas and thoughts manifest in the darkness of our own mind. Nature has always been the great teacher. The intelligent creation of life is all around us. The seasons, the cycles, the equinox, the solstice, and all points in between. The energy of the earth sustains life with water, fresh water, and air. We see the many species of birds, the beautiful creatures of the sea, all the animals great and small that roam the earth with us. And of course, the masterpiece of creation, the human body, with its built-in healing and renewing properties, its automatic breathing system, automatic digestive system, automatic cleaning system. The body sneezes and coughs when it needs to. And of course, we are blessed with the five senses, sight, touch, smell, taste, and hearing. 
The body is the perfect vehicle for the journey of life on earth. Science teaches us that life probably began in the ocean at least 3.5 billion years ago, that all species evolved from a single cell. The great oxygenation event occurred when cyanobacteria living in the ocean started producing oxygen through photosynthesis. The first cell likely arose in steamy mud pots fed by volcanically heated steam. That cell contained the seed of intelligent consciousness. Life began as a spiral movement of evolution. Everything is spinning. The earth, the moon, the sun, the galaxies, as well as the chakras or energy centers in our bodies. From the great spiral galaxies thousands of light years across to the trillions of atoms swirling in a grain of sand, the universe is composed of spinning wheels of energy. Some refer to them as the wheels of life. We see this pattern in seashells, flowers, tree trunks, and people, each made of tiny wheels, turning inside, riding upon the great wheel of the earth, spinning on its orbit through space, giving birth to life. A fundamental building block of nature, the wheel is the circle of life flowing through all aspects of existence. At the inner core of each of us spin seven tiny wheel-like energy centers, swirling intersections of vital life force. Each reflects an aspect of consciousness essential to our lives. Together, the seven centers form a profound formula for wholeness that integrates body, mind, and spirit. They provide a powerful tool for our spiritual growth and progression. These centers organize the reception, assimilation, and transmission of life energies. From instinctual behavior to conscious thinking to emotion, love, learning, and illumination. They form a rainbow bridge linking the physical world to the spiritual world. They act as gears turning the wheels of evolution, drawing us onward toward the still untapped frontiers of consciousness and its infinite potential. The body is a vehicle of consciousness. These centers are the wheels of life that carry the vehicle forward through its trials, tribulations, and transformations. They are a template for life. The chakras are the true steps to Jacob's ladder of evolution. The location of each center gives meaning to their perspective levels of consciousness, each containing its own intelligence. So let's explore these seven great centers of conscious evolution, starting with the root chakra. It contains the consciousness that relates to the material world, the indrawing gravity of matter. It creates the density we experience as the physical world. It represents our survival instinct and our primal connection to Earth's matrix of life. The sacral center holds the energy of the dual nature of existence, the ebb and flow of polarity, the primal flow of energy, life, urges, physical desires, pleasure, and emotions. Solar plexus teaches about our will, personal power, purpose, authority, mastery of desire, and self-control. Divine intuition resides there. The heart chakra is where heaven and earth meet. It represents divine love, unconditional love forgiveness, compassion, understanding, and balance. The throat chakra is the core of where vibration begins as sound carried on the air of our breath, the vibration of the spoken word, the center of communication and creative expression. With the brow chakra, the mind's eye, we learn about soul realization, insight, imagination, clairvoyance, concentration, peace of mind, wisdom, devotion, and the perception beyond duality. And as we move to the crown chakra, we merge with our higher self, oneness with the infinite, spiritual will, inspiration, unity, divine wisdom, and understanding. We become aware of the illusion of space and time and the continuity of consciousness. It is written that when the seventh chakra is open, there is silence. 
This is a giant step in the process of self-discovery. Knowing how to enter true silence is one of the final things a person learns to do to attain self-understanding and self-mastery. The ability to become inwardly still and silent is a mark of real attainment and the development of spiritual consciousness. We merge with our higher selves and with the great silent principle of being. Are you living as your true self? Very few are. Many still live and dwell in a dark consciousness, distracted, confused, suffering in silence, looking to others or outside of themselves for answers, not realizing that the answers and guidance they seek comes from within. Incarnating on this plane of existence is the grand opportunity for accelerated spiritual growth. We bear witness to life unfolding on so many levels of consciousness. Metaphysics is the study of the nature of reality, to see and understand beyond our physical world. When you look at me, you don't really see me. You see the vehicle I'm traveling in during this incarnation. I'm in here, draped in a garment of flesh, awareness disguised as a human being. The destiny of the soul is to achieve total enlightenment, to allow the intelligent light within each of us to awaken fully. So wake up from the illusion of human life and challenge yourself to discover the infinite possibilities within you. The master teaches all echo the same message. Don't you know that you are gods? With a small g, of course. The essence of the creator. The word ebracadabra is derived from the Hebrew and Aramaic languages, meaning, as I speak, I create. There is power in the spoken word. Our words create our reality. With this awareness, we should be mindful of the energy we send out because it will surely return to us. The vibrations we send out return to us in kind. It is true when they say, you reap what you sow. Meditation is so very important. It molds the key that will open the door to greater self-awareness, stillness, contemplation, alignment, and finally illumination of your spirit. And when we take time to be quiet and still, we activate the higher intelligence already within us. That is when we feel our connection with all of life. And as we align our consciousness with that of universal consciousness, we feel the oneness and connection with all things in creation. That is when we come into our own spiritual awareness and understanding. The windows and doors of our minds open and the light of truth shines brightly. Then we will know that everything and everyone is the expression of the one God. It is well with your soul. Your infinite divine parent watches over you, guides you, and protects you. So relax and enjoy your ride on the winds of time. And trust that life truly is in divine order, whether we can see it or not. May all who hear these words be lifted in vibration and conscious awareness of self and of others. And so it is. Amen. For additional lessons and meditation ideas, visit our website at www.meditatewnc.org. Thank you for joining us.